Bradley Beal to the Suns? Oh, yeah. Wow! Oh, my! Bradley Beal? Oh, what a move. What, what a play by Bradley Beal. Yeah, it's going to be epic. Let me lower this down. It's definitely going to be epic. Frogman basketball, Coach Ron. You know, I'ma definitely tell you, man. A lot of people showed some doubts about this uh trade. Feel like it's the same thing like what the Nets had with Kyrie, James Harden, and um Kevin Durant. Um, you know, it's similar. But I feel like, you know, a lot of people not taking into account that you had a first year head coach there. And, you know, that makes a difference when you have a coach that um, understands the game the way he understood it. And which makes sense for them to play freely. You have all that talent. You know, you should be able to let them play freely. Um, but a lot of times you just have to create a system so that they can and allow them to play free in the system. So give them all um, creativity to let the system do what they want it to do. But, you know, you definitely want to have some kind of system. Um, I think that's sometimes what the struggle is with coaching, you know, not being too system orientated, not being too ISO orientated, and also not being too... Um, rigid in one direction and then trying to get a perfect flow in both directions and i really think that's really where it comes down to but um i think devin booker and uh kd are players that play well and free in systems oh that was a tough move you know they f they play pretty free in systems Bradley Beal, I feel like he does not hold the ball. He's not somebody that holds the ball in their hands a lot. Um, I think, you know, he is on ball, but he's, he's not in one spot. Like, if you look at a lot of his highlights, right, he's moving around. Like, he's moving. He's catching it, getting to his spot right away. He is not holding the ball and everybody really watching. You know, a lot of plays, you see him moving and you know coming off some kind of roll right and it's quick isos it's not long isos right he's, he's moving around um and he has the ability to iso which you have three players that can iso well he runs the floor as well so i mean i think it's gonna be a nice situation to see you know they still got um their big man there um you know the cap money is spent up from what i've seen um so that's gonna be a challenge in itself the fluidity needs to be there between the three and they're gonna need some time so hopefully injuries does not plague them and put them in a position where they don't get enough um court time together because that definitely plagued the the nets where they did not get enough time right and so you know that high pick and roll gonna work too so he, you see they use the high pick and roll with the pin down on the other side which is a pretty common piece, right? You got the ISO, um, and then you have the high pick and roll. And what they're doing here is, this is a straight ISO pick and roll. This pick and roll, because it's coming on this side, and the roll is going this side, the help is there. So it's not really a pick and roll to pass it. So this is a straight ISO pick and roll, right? He comes around this side, and the help is going to be there. So I don't know what play this is, but I mean, it's straight ISO. It only looks like something. There's no other option for him to pass that ball, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely ISO ball. A lot of these highlights are ISO ball. A lot of these players are high talented ISO ball players, but I think they are unselfish and you can see them score off of set in their ISO plays. So you just need a good coach to set up something that, um, gives them a lot of uh, creativity within the set. And that's really, ooh, my boy went down. Was 
Yeah, he went down right there. Good move. Yeah, man. You got some beasts over there, man. You talking, you know, 30 points a piece, possibly, on any given night. Right? You see? Running off that pin down right there. That that um that back screen. Right? Off the back screen. Uh, I think this was with Russ. Catching it this way, putting the ISO on that side, playing a three-man ball on that side. And that's really what it boiled down to. Can you play a nice three-man ball, keep these two guys here? Maybe you send them down for a pin down just to switch it up. And then you have Russ in the middle. If that don't work, you have that ISO piece right here. So it's a lot of opportunities, um, a lot of um, good things. You know, I like the trade. I really do like the trade. Um, I hope that he's able to, um, get what they looking for, you know, which is the ring. Ultimately, we looking for the ring, you know, um, and another trade that I like in general, and let's talk about that, you know, um, that a lot of people talking about is Obi Toppin from the Knicks, right? Obi Toppin, um, is the ability to really expand his game. You know what I mean? He has the ability.